Look, it's time to get serious about audio. If you already have these, do you need these? Let's talk. I can't just keep on doing the same video format, so I'm trying something new, but I am taking myself seriously. I'm taking the subject of audio seriously. If they fit you, you're gonna like them. Are they lighter? Are they smaller? Does it really matter? Eh. They, they changed a few things. So they still have the same equal mode. They still have the multi-point pairing. They'll pair with one watch and one phone really well. And then they'll pair with my laptop and several other things, just not as well. There you go. New design. Are they more comfortable? It's gonna depend on the shape of your ear. I think they're more comfortable, but yet, the way those curve, I don't know. They still put a little bit of pressure right there. And after a while, sometimes I can go about two hours with no discomfort. But in a way, last year's model is slightly, I don't know, it's really subtle. It's really subtle. Here, I'll put one in. The new one, the white one, is in my right ear. See, that's the open fit air, and this is just the open fit. Hmm, it's really close. But this is what I found out. I did a reconnection test, took them off, put them on, put them on. They reconnect. The multi-pair pairing, the, the multi-point pairing, actually works better from last year to this year. So that's good. Good job, Shocks. The whole one earbud test, yes, it works. You've probably seen that in their videos. And then I went outdoor. Hey puppy, what do you think of the audio? You wanna give them a try? Sunglasses? Yeah, still comfortable. Mostly. So there's a little bit of wind noise, but it just passes right over the headphones. Come on, puppy. Come on, a little farther. We're turning around. There's construction vehicles in the background, cars, birds. Still hear the audio. I <laughs> I have to be honest, I, I don't like the headphones that go in my ears. And I think that's why I find these open air, these open ear earbuds more pleasing. And that they have to be more comfortable because there's nothing going in the ear. Let's ask the dog. How do you feel about headphones that go inside your ears? He doesn't care, but I think humans should. So I'm gonna try to wear these all day and see what happens to battery life. I haven't car charged the case since they're unboxed. Time will tell. In the grocery store, great. It all depends on how loud your environment is. So on day two, I was down by the <laughs> outdoor testing in my VW van parked down by the river. and 50 to 70 decibels, my music was rad. Made for loving you, fall guy, great. I could hear the river, I could hear the birds, but I could still hear my music. Indoors at my desk, we're talking the ambient noise sound is maybe 50 decibels, maybe 55, and my music's at about 60 to 65. I can hear the music just fine and I can still hear those voices calling my name. Hey, Pietro, we need your help. Yeah, from about 14 feet away. Then we go on day three. That was yesterday. The cons, slight amount of pressure on my ear, just, just a little bit. And again, that's gonna depend upon your ear shape. But they did kind of reformat it, so it's not as flat as last year. And then this, this thing, which looks like Maybe you could catch a fish with it or it would make it float. It doesn't. So then they haul it out. 
which is kind of fun because now you can, you know, you can hang them by each other. You know, that, that's kind of fun. Noise, sound leakage in a 35 decibel environment. Yeah, you can hear them. So let's do that right now. I'll put these in. So it says headphones disconnected, but I might be throwing it off because these are out. So we're gonna have to put these away. Relaunch the app. Please ensure that the headset and cell phone's Bluetooth are connected. There we go. So I haven't charged them yet. Now we're on day four. The case is down to 20%. Headphones fully charged. There's the whole multi-pairing, it's on. I have them connected to my iPhone 15 and this OnePlus 12. They work great. So now we'll let you hear some noise leakage. Oh, some Take On Me by AHA. That is uh, mid-volume right there. Now even more fun, if we connect it to the iPhone, we can actually measure the decibels. So here's the multi-point pairing. So now without doing anything, I paused it. And now I open up this, it automatically connects to my shocks and I'm playing the song. So there's your multi-point pairing, works great. Watch, phone, you get it, laptop. Right now I'm at 69 decibels. That's 70 decibels, 80. Now I'm getting the loud warning, 86 decibels. So there you go, there's a little noise leakage. So at night, if you're listening to a podcast or something, yeah, your significant other, they might be able to hear a little bit of noise, but it's not so much that they're gonna be bothered. Indoors are great. Outdoors in certain environments, they're great. They're not for sleeping with. Pros, increased bass. Two, increased sound quality, better audio clarity. Number three, a full two days later, 30% battery case. Four days later, I'm down to 20. I really like two phones, the headphones. The audio is actually still pretty good even when I take one out and just have one headphone in. Oh, funny enough, it's not playing. Nope. That's strange. There we go. <laughs> Add the volume down too low. So even if you don't keep it in the case, now I have both. Take that one out. Still plays. Yeah, it's still pretty good audio. So I, for even podcasts, but the music, everything sounds better than last year and they were able to do the bass. Now, do these fit in each other cases? No, this has a three prong charging system. And if you try to put them in there, they they don't, see they, yeah, they, they don't fit. They change the shape. So far, so good. I like them, they're comfortable. I can wear them for hours and hours. I've found that most headphones after about two or three hours, I have a hard time wearing them regardless. And again, that's gonna come down to personal preference. But one thing I really like is that I still hear the environment around me. So when I was at the grocery store wearing these, I could still hear the announcements that there was a, you know, was it a, <laughs> a blue light special in aisle seven? I could still hear that. The clamshell with the free case, it does add a little bit of girth. So I mean, but yeah, they, they fit in the average pocket, so that's good. I do like the white. I like the shiny kind of metallic design. It is interesting though that even though they're called the Air, there is, they're, they're bigger. So as soon as I took them out of the case, they connected to my iPhone because that was the one playing last and they just started playing. So they have the ability where you can stop right in the middle of a podcast or a song and then not even lose a beat. That's pretty cool. Do they have wireless charging?
the, the answer is no, they, do, they don't have wireless charging. I, I also tried on the Samsung charger. No, they're, they're not Qi compliant. And I was really hoping they were going to add that, but that's all right. That's all right. Maybe on the next version, or maybe they'll come out with the OpenFit Air Pro, and that will have wireless charging, but they charge so quickly with USB-C. And if you have an iPhone 15, you can charge it with your phone. Let me go get my cable. Oh, no. This cable will work. So here's the iPhone 15. Plug that in, right? Then we take this one. Plug that in. Ta-da! Look at that. And because the battery is so small in here, it's not going to suck that much. What's more important? That you take pictures and answer some phone calls from work? Or do you want to listen to your music, right? Anyway, pretty cool. And it works for Android as well. You don't believe me? Okay, I'll show you. You take an Android like this one, the OnePlus 12, Hasselblad, and boom, it charges that way too. Pretty cool. App interface is the same, no major changes there, and battery life is great. Whatever they say on the website, that's where you're gonna get. I average about two hours a day, so out of the box, I've enjoyed over eight hours of music already. Actually, closer to 10 in the last because I was, I was listening to quite a bit of music while I was working this week and cleaning the house and whatnot. Now, I tried a fun test with these, mowing the lawn. Yeah, that didn't work. I don't know if I'll ever share that video. So if you don't have the open fit from last year and you're looking for a nice, comfortable pair of headphones to wear in the office so you don't completely exclude your coworkers, Yes, I recommend the Shox Open Fit Air, and they're only $115. They come in three colors. Those are on the website. If you want a link, sure. There's a link down in the description below, and I'm going to go listen to music and fall asleep. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have more about these later. Goodbye.